I'm Steve and welcome to the first of our weekend project guides. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a simple and easy summer hanging basket which is going to add colour and interest to your outside space this time of year. So whether it's a balcony, a terrace or a garden, it's really achievable on any gardening skill level. Okay, so now comes the best bit. We're going to choose the plants going into your hanging basket. I've chosen a range here from the garden centre. This is our 10.5 centimetre range. We've got a fantastic choice. I've gone for a, a fairly muted and pastel um, palette here, but actually totally down to personal preference. If you prefer fiery hot colours, then go for it. Nothing, nothing is out of bounds. Best thing to do when you've popped the plant out of its pot is to gently tease out any of these very fine fibrous roots. Just means that all of these will get growing really well established and not ending up with a, a kind of bound root ball as the plant tries to grow. What I'm going to do is pop that on the side there. The compost I've used for this is just a general multi-purpose. It's actually uh, designed for hanging baskets and containers. It says it contains a moisture retaining gel so hopefully it's going to help me during the summer especially if we get some hot weather this year. It's going to retain onto some of the moisture. Okay, so I've got my first layer of compost in the bottom of the basket. I'm going to start with the trailing plants. So like I say, I've just teased the roots out of this lovely silver leaf dichondra. I'm going to pop that through the side here and just make sure you've teased all of the foliage out. Then with these removable panels, we just pop those around the collar of the plant and they simply snap into place like that which gives us a really nice secure plant. We know that's not going to fall out once we've watered it and it's hanging up. Okay, so I've got all of my trailing plants in the bottom there, alternated round. I'm just going to top up with the next layer of compost to bring me up to the next level. I'm actually going to use these lovely little trailing petunia. They've got gorgeous veining in them. They're going to trail down the sides as well. So I'm going to pop these in next. Again, just feeding them through the side really carefully. Just tease those roots out like I did before and popping the panel in to hold them in place. Okay, so I've got my second layer of plants in now. I'm just going to top up with the final layer of compost. I'm going to make sure that this is actually about an inch or an inch and a half from the surface of the basket. That's going to help when watering. What I don't want to do is fill it right to the surface because when we do water and it's hanging up, all that's going to happen is the water is going to cascade over the edge and we're not actually going to get that water down to the roots where we need it. So next bit of planting is in the top layer. I'm going to use these really lovely brachycum which have got these tiny purple daisies. Lovely little plant. Going to just again tease the roots out of these and plant these just a couple of inches from the edge so you're allowing some space for them to fill out. Tuck those little guys in and just bed him round with some compost. Make sure that we get all that soil around the roots. We don't want those exposed in the sun and we certainly don't want any air pockets. The next plant I'm going to use is this lovely Nemesia which is actually slightly scented which is really nice especially if it's near uh, your front door if the hanging basket's going to be there or near a garden terrace you're just going to get that slight bit of scent every time you walk past just pop these in fill round and I'm actually going to repeat that process just around here around the outside So our basket's completed, last couple of jobs are to give it a really good water in. I'm using a watering can with a very fine hose on, I just want to make sure that all of those roots are bedded in nicely. Keep it watered throughout the summer, don't let it dry out and it's probably worth giving it a liquid feed every couple of weeks throughout the season just so you've got plenty of flower producing. Also just to keep it looking really good go through it and just deadhead any flowers that are, that are finished and you'll have a fantastic display all summer long. Just pop on the chains and you're ready to hang your basket up and enjoy all summer long.